Truthfully, the inspiration comes from, uh, well, actually, I guess I should just come right out and say it. Like, for as an artist, I kind of work backwards in that I don't often get inspired to make something and then set about making it. I see something in the process that hmm. unfolds and I end up pursuing it. Yeah. And um, the early work, as you know, is all about uh, just form. I was really challenged as a glass blower to make interesting shapes and then the color was sort of an afterthought and it's now been taken over entirely by the pattern. Yeah. And that optical effect happens in part because the the surfaces are so close together. Yeah, right? that yeah, flattened. yeah. The the flatter you can make them, the better it works. You know, and it's hard to do make the shape nice, and then it's there's a compromise how how much you can squeeze them, making the foot and all that stuff. So, but typically they're like a couple or three inches apart. <laughs> but that that's that is what creates that. Yeah, this one's really beautiful. So the first maze pieces that I did start with this super tedious uh, process of chopping up little bits of cane and laying them out. And the newer ones, um, I make these rondelles and chop them up and rearrange them. Here's a, here's a uh, test, like I'll make a cup. They'll live in my house, but this is a test of like, pattern and color. Hmm. So I, I, make, I have to make all these rondelles out of canes and then chop them up and reassemble them onto the, the plate. Excuse me, like this. 